In this question, as in every question, we start with the maxim, the mantra, separately first. We need to know the absolute value of w. That means the distance of w from zero, basically the positive version of a positive or negative number. Statement one gives two possibilities for w. w equals four, and the other possibility is that w equals minus four. Narrowing to two possibilities doesn't count as knowing the value on GMAT questions. Only one value will constitute sufficiency. But the absolute value of 4 and negative 4 are both 4. Therefore, there is exactly one possible absolute value of w, given statement 1. So statement 1 is sufficient. On to statement 2, forgetting about statement 1. Paraphrasing this statement, it says that the negative of the absolute value of w equals w. The absolute value of w is the distance from zero, a positive number. So the negative of that is a negative number, which is w. So it's basically saying that w is a negative number. However, we don't know whether it's minus 3, minus 4, minus 10, or what. Therefore, when we are looking at number 2 alone, not in conjunction with number 1, number 2 is insufficient. Therefore, the correct answer is A.